Steps is a Max for Live step sequencer that lets you rhythmically modulate almost any parameter in Live. You can download Steps for free or choose to pay to support the development of this and future content, which is always greatly appreciated. There's a link to the download in the description. Let's see how Steps works. We'll begin with a relatively simple track and explore how Steps can bring it to life. Let's start with the bass. I've already got a default instance of Steps loaded and ready to go. Steps is a Max for Live modulation device, which means we first need to map it to the parameter we'd like to control. I'll map it to Wavetable's filter cutoff. Already this bass part is more interesting. There are a number of ways to create a sequence in Steps. You can use the Randomize Steps button to create a random sequence. If you find a set of steps that's close to what you want, but not quite there, you can use the deviate button to add a random offset to each step, up to an amount set by the deviate amount control. You can shift all the steps up or down, or left and right. You can also clear all the steps if you'd like to draw in something custom by clicking and dragging in the step editor. The steps control sets the number of steps in the pattern, anywhere from 2 up to 32 steps. One interesting thing to try is to set the number of steps to any number that doesn't loop neatly on the bar to create polymetric modulation patterns. If you want a mostly fixed pattern, but with a little bit of variation each time, you can dial up the jitter amount to add a random offset to the output of each step. You can always see the overall output of the steps modulation in the scope at the top right. Let's head over to the drums, where I've got steps loaded on this cymbal sound. I'll map steps to the decay of the simpler and set an appropriate range. I'll also set the number of steps to 5. The steps reset control lets you create more complex patterns by resetting a sequence to the beginning after the number of steps. I first need to enable steps reset. And you'll now hear that the sequence restarts after 16 steps, creating a more complex pattern of modulation. Let's head over to the chords and make these a bit more interesting as well. First, I'll map steps to the filter cutoff in Drift. And apply some smoothing to have a slightly less stepped output. To create even more complex patterns, I can use multiple instances of steps on one sound. I'll duplicate the first steps and map the new copy to the octave parameter of oscillator 1. And I'll set the number of steps to an odd number and slow down the rate of the sequence. Let's wrap up with one more example. I'll bring in this vocal chop.
Remember that you can map max for live modulators to almost anything in live. So let's map an instance of steps to the send on the vocal chop. Well, you might be getting a little carried away here, but you can always turn down the depth control on any instance of steps to dial back the intensity of the effect. You'll find a link to download steps for free in the description, although you can also choose to pay for the device, which is always appreciated and goes a long way to supporting everything Elephant. Thanks for watching.